This is Utah Beach, the most westerly of the D-Day landing sites where the Americans came early on June the 6th, 1944. It's a big wide flat expanse of sand and behind it is this low-lying landscape here. Uh, they call this the land between the seas uh, and behind us a lot of that landscape had been flooded uh, so that it was perilous for paratroopers not knowing where they're going to land in the middle of the night. Now in training troops would have been given maps to study showing what they thought were going to be the defences and pointing out the bits they were going to attack and you, you'd study that like crazy and then of course on the actual day you turn up here and it looks nothing like what you're expecting and you're being shot at it would be altogether utterly terrifying got something I want to show you. These are the landing crafts that the troops would arrive in. Now, my mum was involved in doing the weather forecasting for D-Day at Supreme Headquarters, and she would often talk about the uncertainty and the terrible feeling of, is this going to work? And there's something here that I find very powerful, and that's this statue commemorating these soldiers coming running while well, you try running in sand and see how difficult that is but I love this statue because it shows something of the toughness and determination but also if you look at them a little bit of vulnerability and isn't that the same for all of us hope we never have to face a war but in all things that we approach there is a certain feeling of vulnerability is this going to work and the toughness and determination that says well let's give it a go